up, YouTube? Not that. All right, guys, I know you can tell by the thumbnail what this is. I am very happy about this purchase. I was, I know I have a lot of Chucky dolls, but I've been looking for a good guy, Child Play 2 doll, because it's my favorite movie in the series. And I, the best looking good guy doll, I think, in all the movies. I just like the way it looks. It's creepy. It has a creepy look to it, even when he's not even possessed yet like it's just a creepy looking doll and I happened to find this doll off of Etsy by a seller or an artist named Chucky Belgium. I'll put the link in the description below if y'all are interested in, in checking it out or trying to buy one. He don't only just do these dolls, he does the new good guy doll from the new Child's Play movie. He does Child's Play 2 Possessed doll and I think he does a child's, another Child's, Child's Play 1 I believe Possessed. I'm not sure but uh, like I said I'll put the link below if you want to check it out. Make sure you hit them up. When you do, tell them Horror Props for us sent you. But uh, let's get to it. Here he is, guys. This is my Child's Play 2 Good Guy doll from Chucky Belgium. Let me get a good look at him. He ran about, it was, it, he got them for 913, but we're shipping everything almost a thousand, almost a G. But in my personal opinion, honestly, with all the doll makers out there, this is the cheapest one you can you can actually buy. And I think the quality is like awesome. Awesome, like it's well worth the money. And if you're looking for a cheaper way, you don't wanna go spend two, $2,000 on a doll, go this route because his work is phenomenal. He listens to you, he answers to all your messages if you wanna change anything, like I did, which I'll get into later in the video. He'll do it, he's, he's just a nice guy and he answered all my questions and I, I don't have nothing bad to say about him. But uh, saying that, let's get a closer look at this guy and uh, let's talk about him and review him a little bit, go through the pros and cons. Okay guys, here's a closer look at Chucky. He is 29 inches tall, just like a regular Chucky doll. He is life size. Let's, um, let's get into the pros, what I love about this doll. Starting off with the main thing, his sculpt, his face, look at it. This doll, is an exact replica of the Child's Play 2 Good Guy doll. I mean, that's what I, when I saw it, that's what I fell in love with because it's so hard to find Chucky or Good Guy dolls that actually look like the movie doll. And as soon as I saw this one, I was like, oh, I gotta get it because this thing is spot on. Look at that face. Every part of this doll is handmade. It's handmade. It's made of a poly, I don't know how to say it, polyurethane or whatever, foam, my bad. If I know y'all gonna butcher me and kill me for that, but it's foam, it's posable. But like I could say this though, it is a lot thicker and a lot, it's, it's, it's heavier than the Trick or Treat Studios doll. I know Trick or Treat Studios use that foam, but I think they use a cheaper foam. This foam is pretty thick, it's hard to squeeze. It's, it's kind of hard to pose, I ain't gonna lie, but I think that's a good thing because it feels like it's more quality. It's not gonna rip or tear as easy, break apart. Um, the other thing I like about it is his shoes. His shoes are dead on. They are all, like I said, they're all handmade, so it's hand painted, so it's not gonna be perfect, but it still looks great. Got the good guy laces. Let me get underneath this so you can see his foot. The bottom of a shoe. Got the good guy shoes. Everything, like I said, is to the T of the doll, of the movie. And yeah, that's... I like the hair too. Okay, on his on his uh description of the doll he has on Etsy, it has a little bit of a a darker wig. It was kind of red, and uh, I don't really like. I didn't really like it, so I mentioned it to him, and he was happy to put uh, another different color wig on it, which is this one, more orange looking. Cause I like. I just think it looks better with the orange. I mean, some people might like the darker one, but on the movie, to me, it looks like it's orange. So I went that route. He was nice. He just did it right away. He sent me pictures of it and. And made sure I liked it before he, he shipped it and everything. He's a great he's a great guy. I don't got nothing bad to say about him. It takes about 30 days to wait time, which is not bad, seeing as uh, other places like Swir Swirl World Studios takes like six to nine months. And uh, so if you want a doll, a great looking doll, and you want it fast, go this route. It's a lot cheaper. Um, it looks great. Like I said, I mean, I, I think this is one of my best buys from a horror collection because... 
the price was right. I know a thousand is a lot, don't get me wrong. I mean, you can go buy the Trick or Treat Studio doll for 500 bucks, but you're not gonna get quality like this. You're not gonna get a doll that looks this good, this real, this movie-like. And you're not gonna find a child's play too one anywhere because you can't buy those. You could, like, it was hard finding this one. I finally found it and I jumped on it. Okay, saying that, I gotta go to the cons though. There's a couple things I don't like about it. They're minor, but I have to mention it. Start off with the overalls. Uh, I don't, I mean, it's okay. The coloring is good. I don't like how big this patch is. I wish it was a little bit smaller. The centering is good on the good guys. I like that. It looks good. It's just, just the patch is really getting to me. I don't know why. I guess it's just a little big, but like I said, it's minor. And then you get to a sweater. It's not really a sweater. It's more like a shirt material, which it's not a problem. I can always find the sweater later and change it out. But right now it's not a big deal, but but that's just some of the things I don't like about it. And the hands look great, if you can see. But on this side, for some reason, the fingers look a little shorter. I don't know what's bothering me, but if you can see, it looks shorter. I don't really like that because these are longer. They have the the nails and everything on them. These do too, it's just they look shorter. Or actually don't have the nails on these fingers. I don't really like that. But other than that, really, I don't have nothing bad else to say about this doll. Is it worth the 900 bucks, 950? Yes, because what's out there and for the prices, this is a no brainer. Like, like I said, you're not gonna find a doll this quality that looks like this for under a thousand or a thousand dollars, you're just not. You can look anywhere, you can look on eBay, look online. You go to Thor World Studios, but you're gonna pay almost two grand. You're gonna wait a, a damn year almost for a doll. But if you're looking for a Chucky doll, like I said, he makes more. He makes the Buddy doll for Child's Play the remake, and what I'm trying to get from him next, hopefully he can send me one of those, I can do a review for him, but if you're looking for a good quality doll that's not gonna break your bank, hit up Chucky Belgium, and make sure you say Horror Props Russ sent you. But that is it, guys. I appreciate the love y'all been showing. Like I said, I'm back, and I'm trying to throw a lot more material out there for y'all this year. I know I fell off for a while, but I'm back, and I'm here for you guys. Just thank you for sticking with me and not leaving. And I will make it worth your while that y'all stayed. Thanks again, YouTube. Until next time. Later.